Hello! In this video, I will present how SCADE Test now addresses graphical user interfaces. Graphical user interface testing represents very time-consuming activities. Still today, for many companies, this activity is manual, boring, and has to be redone each time a new version of the graphical interface is released. On the other hand, graphical user interface can display critical information or enable interacting with critical system. Faults are forbidden in the final product. SCADE Test now provides test engineers with a testing environment, automating recording and execution of test cases on graphical user interfaces designed with SCADE Display. Determinism of execution is ensured thanks to synchronization with graphical interface execution. To support the demonstration, I will use a graphical user interface for an automotive application designed in SCADE Display. I will take a previously created test project. Let's start creating test cases. Test engineers will record the test scenario while running it. During recording, test engineers may pause and record images that may be used as reference image, for instance with Oracle. Of course, review of these images needs to be performed prior to using them as references. Once recorded, the scenario is saved. It can be edited and completed with the checks to be performed. Let's add a check on graphical user interface output. Then, I will add an image comparison using the image reference stored in my recording. And I'm done. Test scenario is ready to be automatically executed just by pressing this button. As you can see, all actions are automatically performed onto the graphical interface. At the end, I got a report showing all test statuses, whether passed or failed. Graphical diff can be displayed and a report focusing on graphical check is provided with actual image, reference image, and diff. Here I can see a difference, which is not relevant. I will then exclude this part using a filter or mask. This filter capability enables focusing on some part of the image only during the check. So I save and generate again my scenario and replay it as I did previously. This time, all is OK. And this is confirmed by my report. This shows how non-regression testing can be automated, providing huge cost savings in your projects. If you want more information, go and check the ANSYS website at ansys.com. Thank you.